that, <laughs> that was that was my friend Matt. The truth of the matter is, like you know, we were all into polo. We make we're making money, you know. So we we would all buy polo. Basically, what happened that day is he came after we were skating. We were having a session at Lockwood. He came and had just bought polo shirt, polo hat. So he came and he tried to, you know. Like, yeah, you know, look at me. So we was like, yo, you can't be coming over here, dude, like with brand new polo gear, trying to throw it in our face like that. And it wasn't really anything malicious. We were just like, look, dude, you're coming to Lockwood. You can't be coming over here trying to floss, you know, when we're over here in the trenches trying to, you know, skate, we're, you know, we're getting grimy, you know what I mean? And he tried to come to the spot, rocking the gear. So we had to, you know, Fabian just set it off. And, you know, before you know it, dude, you know, we just, you know, but we weren't really, we weren't really trying to hurt him or nothing. Yeah. Billy Valdez, hands down. I mean, for the most part, man, there was so, so, always so many things going on. Cause Lockwood was in the epicenter of like, you know, one of the bi you know biggest SA gangs in LA, you know, which is La Mirada. I mean, we seen shootouts. We'd be skating and then right on the corner of Virgil and Lockwood, there'd be like, <laughs> shootouts going on and like you know crack deals people getting jumped and so you'd have all these kids coming coming over there man just like not even knowing where they were you know what i mean fabian's uncle is an og from la mirada so they respected fabian you know because they knew his uncle was an og you know pretty much calling shots his uncle was the one they had to answer to we stopped a lot of things man and a lot of people don't realize it you know what i mean like chris ortiz will tell you you know what I mean? One time, they were ready to take his whole kit. Chuck Wampler, dude, like if we would have been there, that wouldn't have happened. Pretty much the agreement was like, look man, if you guys are here, it's good. But if you guys ain't here to tell us who's who or whatever, like people are gonna get jacked. Some kids from somewhere else, just some kids, you know, were, came over to skate and film. And two of the younger homies, they went in and saw that they were filming, hit them up for their camera. The kid just gave up the camera. They grabbed the camera, they were leaving. And then Chuck, you know, came and was like, hey man, why are you taking the camera? And he's like, yo, stay out of it. It's none of your business. And you know, little interaction took place. And one of the young kids just pulled out and just, you know, shot him. You know I mean? Obviously he lived, you know, and I hear now he's a police officer now. we were the total opposite in the sense of basically what they expected you know they probably expected us to be all rowdy and people were they'd be surprised you know a lot of the kids would try to come up to us on some like you know hey yo you know all yoed out and you know what i mean and and you know we just be like look man it's all good you know we'll play you skate you know and be like what you know let's go blaze or whatever be like nah man we, we you know like oh what do you mean man we see you in the video and like yeah that's in the video there's parents, there's, you know what I mean? On top of all of that, you know, you're what? You're like 14. We can't even be engaging in that kind of manner, so. Now, when we go back to the hotel, yeah, cool. We're chilling, you know, we're all within the circle, us, you know what I mean? And yeah, we'd smoke or do whatever, but, you know, which by the way, I'm nine years sober now, you know what I mean? So I gave all that up. Glad to see you. I had a funny dream and you were wearing funny shoes.